Hi Leo, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the second half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. If you are new, please do check the description box below. There is a ton of information there. So please do go check that out. Personal reading information and all sorts of links. So please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. Before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. And thank you so much for all your support. It means a lot to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so this is for Leo, Love Connection. Last half of August. This is for any kind of connection for anybody that you have in mind. So I hope everybody's doing well and um, we're almost done summer, what, one more month? So this is a zodiac oracle, so we could get a sign element or planet energy and whatever comes out here, if you find it does not resonate for you, that is totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus. So the rest of the reading may be for you. And if you clicked on it, obviously there's something in here probably for you. So for Leo, second half of August, what may some Leos be dealing with? Be around them. Neptune. All right. And Neptune is Pisces. So some Leos could be dealing with a Pisces. If not a Pisces, Pisces is um, about, I mean, Neptune is about imagination, compassion, psychic experiences, and balancing. So, hmm, I don't know. We'll see how that plays into your connection. You could have Pisces in your chart, or maybe whoever you're thinking of, maybe they have Pisces in their chart. Somewhere it could be their moon sign, their rising sign, their Venus sign. All right, so let's get an overall overall love connection energy for you for the last half of August. For Leo, last half of August, can we get an overall love connection energy for whoever they have in mind? Okay, financial constraints. So in this definitely reminds me of earth energy with financial constraints so if they're not a Pisces they could be um, an earth sign so whatever is going on with you and your connection your person you have in mind there's some sort of financial constraints either affecting the connection affecting them or you or the two of you if you I don't know if this is a connection where you're in union not in union or whatever the situation is there is definitely financial constraints and you see 13 4 and that is all about stability so needing to be uh, financially stable right now okay so let's see how you are feeling Leo okay Leo in this connection whoever you're thinking about how you're feeling and you're thinking about the connection is you're feeling brokenhearted and you have nine there which you know nines can indicate you know the wounded warrior but you keep fighting on uh, stress anxiety um, can be wishes coming true also or it can be a very stable independent kind of energy all right so let's see if this will get when we get to the tarot we'll see if this broken heart is all in your mind or if this is actually a breakup or something here I don't know we'll see all right, so how is your person that you're thinking of? All right. So we have fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, and that is the throat chakra. So they could be an air sign. If they're not an earth sign or Pisces, they could be an air sign. And this is the throat chakra, which is all about communication, uh, vocalizing, uh, truth, honesty, and that sort of thing. So. Your person is, I feel, being very truthful about either their situation or um, or they're needing to or wanting to um, speak their truth in some way. And you have 9 and 3, which is 11, which reduces to 2, which is about um, unity and people coming together. So 
I don't know, we'll see. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have Angel of Strength, and there you are, Leo. Five, which five, 55 indicates change. So this is quality, you know, you may feel brokenhearted. Um, when we get into the tarot, we'll clarify. But this is telling you to be resilient, to be strong, courageous, and brave. And to persevere through this situation. That you can be this strong, defiant woman, man, whatever it is for you. All right, so let's see what's going on, Leo, between you and your person, whoever you have in mind. So with Neptune uh, Pisces over here, their number is 21, which equals 3. And that is about work, working together, teamwork, um, collaboration of some kind. So they could be really working hard at getting their finances in order. So why does Leo feel like they have a broken heart the last half of August? Okay, what do we have here? Oh, that's too many. Why does Leo have a broken heart here the last half of August? And this oh, flipped out like three again. It's too many. Why does Leo have a broken heart here? The last half of August spirit, please. Can we have one card for Leo? Please, or this connection. Okay, I'm just gonna take one. So seven of pentacles, earth energy now. So they could be an earth sign, but this is about finances, material things, and this is planting the seeds and waiting, patiently waiting. So I feel like you've been waiting, waiting, waiting a long time for this person. And yep, and here is them working on their finances, their career, or whatever it is for them. And you're feeling brokenhearted over that. Or if it's not that, it could be that they are working like super long hours, they're never home, you miss them um, while they are away. Okay, so your person here has the Two of Cups. Now this is the Before Tarot. So these two people aren't in union yet. They're, you know, they're almost there, but they're not quite there yet. This is water energy. And you see you up here, Leo. Here's the lion up here. So I definitely feel like when they get their financial constraints in order and check, they're going to speak their truth about coming into union with you. But you are in this energy of like just waiting and not sure what's going on, feeling very brokenhearted over this um, situation. Um, so, you know, Neptune is about balancing. So, you know, I really think they're really trying to balance out their finances. That's why we have um, this Pisces energy. So, you know, remain strong and confident over here. So let's see what your actual situation is. Um, for you, Leo, the second half of August in this connection. I mean, I can kind of see the situation, but let's get more clarity. Okay, so we have the Five of Wands. We have the Five of Pentacles, wow. And we have the King of Cups. So, and I had said, Leo, you were five, which was about change and the angel of strength over here. Five is about change. Five, five, ten. Endings one, new beginning. So here we have two fives again. So five of wands, conflict to avoid. You know, this is the before. So this is not, you know, there's going to be conflict here. It's just like starting. And then the five of pentacles energy here is, you know, we got fire, earth, water. So the King of Cups is somebody that, you know, I feel like this person does care about you. There is feelings, emotions, maybe even love there. But you see, you know, the offer is up here, like floating around somewhere. So they, they can't offer it yet. They're still trying to balance out their energy, their finances, whatever it is for them, before they can speak their truth, how they feel, you know, before you can come into 
union here and you're just waiting kind of with a broken heart you're very conflicted here um not sure what's going on with this situation with the five of wands not sure if you'll have to fight off competition for this person in the future or um very conflicting energy here and then you have the five of pentacles energy here connecting the two of you which is that earth energy and you know that speaks of abandonment feeling left out in the cold neglected so i think the two of you feel that way um they could have monetary loss right now and that definitely why that you have financial constraints that's keeping you apart and you feel lonely and left out in the cold and neglected and waiting 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 for this person as they um balance themselves out before they can speak to you and come into union and really be in tune in touch and king of their emotions and feelings all right so let's see what your advice is leo so we got the three of wands and we got the eight of wands so <laughs> The three of wands is basically waiting again, but the eight of wands is about communication, but it's not here yet. So I guess you just have to wait for this communication and you have fire here. Um, a lot of fire, so there could be a fire sign. I mean, we have everything here. They could be air, water, earth, or fire. So, I mean, everybody's here. Um, no major arcana yet, so it's all minor. But yep, your advice is if you want to wait for this person, that is up to you and wait for the communication. I guess you do what you feel is best for you, but your advice is to wait for the communication if you feel like that's the best thing to do. So let's see if you wait for this communication, what the outcome could be. Temperance, so he has Sagittarius energy. So you could be dealing with the Sagittarius as the first uh, major arcana. And uh, this is, you know, bringing balance to the situation. It's not happening yet because of the financial constraints. But this is uh, balancing energy, healing energy, um, patience and time. It usually depicts, um, you know, soulmates coming together. Also, this is the angel that brings the soulmates together. So, yep, if you wait for the communication from this person and you have temperance and then you have two fire cards here. So they definitely could be a fire sign or a Sagittarius or they could be anybody. But if you wait, I feel like this connection will eventually <clears throat> balance out. You know, we have 14 here. So, I mean, 14 weeks. All right, so let's get more clarification here. So we have the Hermit Virgo energy, yep. Being, feeling, you know, isolated and um, trying to figure out what's going on. The light is not lit yet because uh, you don't know, you, don't, you haven't received communication. You really have no clue, no idea what's going on, but you're trying to figure it out. Maybe being, you know, spending time, a lot of time by yourself. We have the six of wands so here's you know victory here's success and victory so there can be success and victory in this connection in the future again with fire energy an offer may be coming in this is usually uh depicting an offer of some kind and the sun so now we have leo so here's happiness, joy, success, enlightenment, uh, happy home and family, fulfillment in every single way, growth, expansion, the whole nine yards, everything with the sun. So there's your energy, Leo. So we got success and victory back to back after a period of here of both of you or them, you know, doing in, inner journey work, spending time on them, on you, doing what you need to do and finding your way in your light to success, victory, happiness, and joy, fulfillment. And the Eight of Cups. So, you know, um, this isn't water energy. It's the energy of 
walking away from something no longer fulfilling and walking to something more fulfilling. But, you know, this is the before tarot, so they're kind of like not paying attention really to anything. Like not walking away or not walking to anything, just kind of at a standstill. It's at a standstill. Not Can't completely walk away from anything yet and can't completely walk to anything yet. Just kind of stuck in a standstill energy here. Let's see, the lovers, okay, Gemini. So, you know, here he is reaching out to, you know, soulmate, lover here. And here's that angel I said that brings the soulmates together. So, yep, there could be soulmate union in the future here. Again, have, if you wait for this communication to come in, and then the temperance angel brings these lovers together, these soulmates. So there you are, Leo, Queen of Wands. So, you know, you, you know, you, you know, Queen of Wands is very energetic, passionate, fiery, go-getter, ambitious, uh, creative, a um, lot of fire signs are entrepreneurs and that sort of energy. And now we have Queen of Cups. So, hmm. So, you know, I'm not getting any third party energy here. Um, I mean, we do have the three of wands here, but that's more of, you know, setting out on a journey and but waiting, waiting, you know, period of waiting. But I don't feel any third par party energy. I just feel like you definitely, um, you could have a lot of water in your chart along with fire, very passionate, but also very loving, caring and nurturing and also have a lot of love for this person, whoever you're dealing with. But again, it could be anybody. We have all the signs here. Page of Pentacles. So again, waiting for this offer to come in. Here's the earth energy again. You know, once they've grown their finances, their financial constraints are lifted, they have growth and abundance, everything is balanced, then I think you'll receive the communication here and the offer here from this person. And it's very stable, sturdy, and grounded, long term with the pentacle energy, you know, wanting to plant the seed for the long term, for the long haul. And now we have the six of swords. So again, going into a more healing, balancing place, you know, once all these constraints are lifted, we can leave all that baggage behind and move forward in a very healing, balanced, harmonious place. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So here's the chariot, cancer energy. So getting in that chariot, moving forward, a lot of success, passion, drive, ambition, being very successful, moving forward. And there's your brand new beginning in love. So, you know, there is a lot of love and emotions here, I feel, between the two of you. It's just financial, financial constraints right now, keeping the two of you from coming together for some reason. Um, I, get, I really feel like this person really feels like they have to be um, really stable, secure on their own before they can come into this connection because this is a divinely guided love. A lot of love, emotions, feelings, fulfillment in every way. And let's see. So, yep. This is a, feels like a, you know, soulmate union here. But finances are keeping it from happening right now for some reason. All right. So Leo, you showed up three times in your reading as the sun, the queen of wands, and then the angel of strength. Okay, so let's get some extra guidance for you, Leo, extra guidance, messages for you, the end of August, spirit please, thank you so much, what do we have for Leo? 
the end of August. Have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. So, and then we have three. Again, with the three of like working, building, um, collaboration, teamwork. So just have faith in this situation for now and be strong and brave. And uh, no, I do see an offer coming in. I see success and victory. I see love. I see passion. I see truths finally coming from them about what's been going on with them. Okay, let's see if there's any other messages for Leo. Practice compassion, see things from a different perspective. Number 15, which is six, and then the six of swords here. And that is about seeing things, you know, differently and having that compassion as you travel into this more healing, peaceful, compassionate place with this person, for this person, understanding what they've been going through and just having that heart full of compassion for them. And then we have treasure your loved ones. It's important to love others deeply. So I do feel like there is a lot of deep love here uh, between the two of you. But for now, these financial constraints are keeping you from being together. Bottom of the deck, we have be willing to express love. When we express love, we begin to receive more love. And six again. So... So, you know, still not quite ready to express love, but there is definitely love here. And this definitely is a soulmate connection that you're having, although you feel brokenhearted because of the separation or not yet coming into union because of the financial constraints. Um, I mean, they could be away, they could be overseas, as with the Six of Swords, you know, see water here, traveling water. Um, and that's why there's, you know, this time apart, whatever the situation is for you. Okay, Leo, I hope this resonated for you. If it did, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly, general, and love. So please don't miss out on that. Best of luck to you uh, here in this situation. And sending you much light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, my channel, the sun energy here is to always, always shine your light.